Salute, this is Jeff. This is David. We are playing Doom 64. This is Watch Your Step. A level in Doom 64 that we are currently playing. I figure it's full of traps and pitfalls and insta-death. Uh, no. It just has a lot of monsters that come in waves. No. Oh. Uh, the actual... There's, there's the exit. It won't be open for a while. Uh, now, the actual name comes from the fact that there are plates on the ground, which we'll be running over shortly. And as if you run over or step on them, I guess they kind of act as pressure plates. Uh, they spawn in monsters. Ah, so you can actually control the number of monsters. To a certain extent, yeah. Ah. Uh, typically, what will happen is they'll spawn in, and then you will run away from them and then trip another one. But in this case, I'm going to try and quickly run in and step on as many of them as possible and then run back to the start because there's a lot of pain elementals that come out to play. Yay. And I'm just going to run back up here and just kind of wait around for a little bit. They're really good at killing each other. Oh, of course. You know? Infighting. If anything, you know, decides to come down this little hallway, I'll just, you know, throw a few... Hey. 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 Just got headbutted by a flaming I, skull. I did. Uh, we just throw a few bullets their way. This Hell Knight seems to... Seems like he wants to be blasted in the face with a double barrel shotgun. So let's oblige him. Yeah. There we go. One, two, and three. Three. Now this is a uh, this is the level where you'll be able to get the best, you know, like best the best look at the pain elemental, because uh, there is a gate uh, that you can see through that they can't see through. Oh. That actually acts as a door, so you can see what's on the other side of it, but they won't actually uh, aggro until you open the door. So you get a good look at the creepiness that is the uh, pain elemental. Excellent. I like oh. the pain elemental. I do too. It is a really good. Uh, hey, hey, what's going on, sprites? <laughs> it wasn't quite showing up half the time there. Maybe, maybe yeah, a bit occ right. occluded. I think was the term. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, yeah, the uh, geometry in the wall was. It was uh, actually it might have been more of like a uh, a stacking error, something uh, like that, where it's trying to figure out what shows on top of something else, and then the engine thought for a second there that the background was in fact in front of the. Uh, the enemy sprite. I think that's how it works. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I, 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 I am I am an expert programmer because math is my strong suit. Okay. Right. I'm really good at maths. 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 That is to say that I am well versed in all of the activities of Judge Mathis and his maths. Mathis. Also maths. Like, like dudes named Matt? Like dudes named Matt. Also, um, like Matt paintings. Also, like the Matt. quality of papers. They might be Matt. What's the quality of paper? Yeah, Matt. Huh. Is that high or low quality? It's um, it's higher quality than just regular paper. You know, you have glossy and you have matte finishes and stuff. Yeah. It's a, like a non a high quality paper that is non shiny. Is, this, is that the so, yeah, That is the pan elemental sitting there. We're just going to shoot it five times and it'll explode. And unfortunately, well, fortunately, not unfortunately, there's not enough room for it to spawn lost souls after or at its death. Which is great because those are those suck. Yeah, lost they souls suck. are unpleasant. They are quite unpleasant. All things considered, this level is not very long, uh, but. These, the place where we started, which looked like a huge arena, which is surrounded by gobs of ammo and weapons, might be coming into play at the end. Just saying. Maybe. And that, that health pack you looked at and twitched, I'm assuming. Those stupid guys. There's plenty of, there's going to be plenty of, uh... yes, yes, yes. We'll be able to get a whole bunch of health and armor and weapons. And you'll need it all. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll end up. Um, we won't need all of it, but it'll, oh, okay. it'll put us in a good in a good situation for starting the next level, anyways. Oh. There are a few. Uh, that, like that door right there is actually an example of a, one of the two or three secrets. Uh, the way you get them is, well, well, well I'll do that in a second. So okay. We'll, we'll Did get that there. shotgun guy just kind of spawn in? Yep, spawned in when you come down the lift, and then when you get the mag armor. That imp, as well as four or five uh, more lost souls, will appear. Uh, the best place is right here in the corner because they will wander around both sides of that 
uh, wall. Yeah, the wall in front of me now. Oh, there's the spawn the little paint elemental. Switch over to the over reliable here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good gun. Yeah, oh, hey. Did you just use a rocket yeah, on a yeah. lost soul? I did, and I am not going to apologize for it. Uh, real men use rockets for things that are right in front of them. So in order to get the uh, secret, you have to shoot across and then walk backwards, and it'll open the... Uh, so you actually have to come through the teleporter a few times in order to get lined up. So we'll go through the teleporter, come back, shoot forward, and then turn around. Doors open. Click on on both sides. Both, both of them are secret areas. Mm. You can also fall out of the window here. This is not a secret, but this is how you get the uh, bonuses oh, on okay. the other side. We're not going to be getting all those because whatever. But it's a whole, like, 14 extra health. Woo! Right, because it is two per. Yeah, that mega sphere is one of the things we'll be getting. Uh, also, if we look down here and to the left, there is an invulnerability. It's the first one in the game. A first invulnerability. Full, first invulnerability in the game. What was that on the floor? That was just cracks. You know, oh. just for, you know. And just, and why did you shake at the at the? Because we're head. not going to pick them up yet. Ah. We will use them when we need them. We have 150 health and 200 armor. Oh. So this is the the final fight uh, of the level takes place here at the intro area uh, and it's waves of in increasingly difficult monsters so the first one is zombie men and then you have demons and then you have uh, imps hell knights barons arachnotrons mancubus so man like every, cubby. Yeah, man cubbies everyone gets their licks in um, and th one thing that I'm not sure about uh, I did end up getting 100% kills so I'm not sure about this but when you kill the last monster of a wave, the next wave will spawn in. But if you kill the last monster from the last wave, then the final wave will spawn in and it'll actually despawn all the other enemies. And I don't know if those count against you or not. Oh. So like if you, I think uh, the Mancubus or the Mancubbies are the ones that are last. And if you accidentally kill all of them before you get rid of the Arachnotrons and Hell Knights, then everyone disappears. And again, I don't know if that counts against you or not. It didn't actually come up in this particular playthrough, but I did wonder that as I was exiting. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Huh. Uh, I wonder if... Doom Science. That, that is a question for Doom Science. Indeed. Oh, also the, the rockets in the corners. Um, those were not there to begin with. Oh, uh, they spawned They, they in. had spawned in. I forget for wh which wave they come in at, but... Uh, there we go. Arachnotrons and man cubbies. Plenty of rockets to take care of them. Oh, yeah. And like most times, uh, or most of these arena fights, it's a good idea to just uh, circle around the outside. Uh, same strategy we employed during the uh, arena fight in Dark Entries. Remember that? Way back when. Way back when we were in Dark Entries. Wasn't that like last week? Yeah, that was like seven years ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. Internet time. Almost, almost done. I just got a few more guys. Rockets, throw some rockets around. All right. Oh, okay. Man Cubby's in the center. Yes, those are a threat. Well, no, not, not much no, of a threat. Not. Okay, so then the last wave is two cyber demons. Two of them. This is cyber demons. Yes. Hey. The final boss monster or high tier enemies in the game. We'll be picking up our items now. <laughs> uh, Might need them, maybe. So the cyber demons in Doom 64 are a lot tougher than the ones in Doom 2, and they're also more rare. Now we have our invulnerability, which is good. Yes. We're going to destroy one with a flash rifle. Like so. Oh, they look awesome. And then they explode. Of course you didn't watch. No, no, no. You gotta walk away I, no, I had to. Yeah, well... Well, we all know that that is like 150% um, more badass to yes. look away at, look away from the explosion as it happens. Right. Uh, and I, I finished the other one off with the BFG just to see that you know, it works. Some point blank BFG shots will take care of them pretty well too. Yes. Uh, the reason that they're much harder than Doom Two versions is because they they do volleys of three rockets, and the third one they will um, they will lead you. That will lead the target whichever way you're running. Mm. They don't do that in Doom 2. They just oh. always shoot right at you, which means that these are, they basically are smarter than the Doom 2 versions of Cyber Demons. 
They're smarter than almost all of the enemies. Yeah, they will they will shoot two rockets right at you, and then they'll try and guess where you're going, and then shoot wherever they think you're going to go next. Is there ever a canon explanation for them? Like, why they're a demon with, like, a rocket arm? Oh, well, in the Doom RPG for the phone, it was explained as just, like, a crazy experiment from UAC scientists mixing uh, cybernetics with demons. There was a Doom, was a Doom RPG. RPG. Yeah, yeah. It was like a, well, like, like a first-person, like, a grid-based... It has all the the enemies and has like a dumb story and wow. except it's turn based right. and you know enemies are like weak to shotguns or they're weak to rockets and <laughs> everything yeah. should be weak to rockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You know that's the thing. the 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 Doom Wiki does cover all of the Doom sixty four or Doom sixty four and also Doom RPG mechanics and stuff. Maybe maybe I should. That is go the only tra- reason that I know it exists. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe. I I knew it existed, but the specifics about I it. I wonder, yeah. can you still get that for phone? Probably. I forget which particular thing. What I I would not want to say iPhone because I don't think it was iOS. It was something. It was released on something. Hey, you know what? Google it. I'm Google. sure Google will let you know. Google will know. I could Google it right now, but I think we should probably just stop recording. Yeah, we should probably stop recording. All right. And done. <laughs>